Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time we will discuss about Shifu Charvis. Here we go, let's see the video. The Shifu Charvis is a collective film for a sex star of performance compressed mainly of character Shifu Charvis held on professional marriage rather than a point or LHS. Whose institutional tenure typically survives the transition of political leaderships. I chief with servants, also known as I public servants, is a person employed in the public sector, the A government department, or agency for public sector undertakings. Chief with servants work for central and state governments and ensure to the governments, not a political party. The extent of civil servants of a state as part of the civil service runs from country to country. In a unit's kingdom or UK, for instance, she only governs or national governments employees are referred to as civil servants, whereas employees of local authorities or counties, cities and civil administration are generally referred to as local government civil service officers, who are considered public servants but not civil servants used in the UK. A civil servant is a public servant but a public servant is not necessarily a civil servant. The study of the civil service is a part of the field of public service, or in the same countries there is no distinction between the two. Apa ye? Staff members are in departmental public bodies or sometimes called foreign girls. May also be called a civil servant for the purpose of status, statistic, and possibly for their terms and condition. Collectively, a state civil servants form a civil service or public service. The concept arose in China and modern civil service develops in Britain in the 18th century. An international civil servant or international staff member is a civil employee who is employed when in for commercial organization. These international civil servants do not resort under any national legislation or from which they have immunity of jurisdiction. Which are governed by internal staff regulation. All disputes related to international civil service are brought out before special tribunals created by these international organizations, such as, for instance, the Administrative Tribunal of the ILO. Specific referrals can be made to the International Civil Service Commission or ICAC of the United Nations and independent experts for the establishment by the United Nations General Assembly. Each method is to regulate and coordinate the condition. Of service of staff in the United Nations common system, while promoting and maintaining high standard in the international civil service. High story in China. The origins of the modern meritocratic civil service can be traced back to imperial examination forms in imperial China. The imperial exams based on merit were decided in two sets of best administrative official for the state bureaucracy. The system had a house influence on both society and culture in imperial China and was directly responsible for the creation of a class of scholars who were just irrespective of their family by degree. Originally, appointments to the bureaucracy were based on the patronage of aristocrats during Han's dynasty, an emperor who often established the Asian system of recommendation by superiors for appointments to office. In the arts of administration, especially in the military, appointments were based solely on merit. This was an early form of the imperial's examination, transitioning from inheritance and patronage to merit, in which local official would choose candidates to take part in an examination of the Confucian classic. After the falls of the Han dynasty, the Chinese bureaucracy regressed into a semi merit system known as the Nine Rang system. The system was reversed during the short life Chinese dynasty, which initiated a civil service bureaucracy like written examination and recommendation. The first civil service examination system was established by Emperor Wen of Sui. Emperor Yang of Sui established a new category of recommends candidates for the mandarins in AD, the following Tang dynasty. Out of the same measure for drafting official and discretionary this crushing slid on a restorative recommendation and more and more and promotion based on the result of written examination, the structure of the examinations. The structure of the examination system was extensively expanded during the reign of Wu Zetian. The system reached its apex during the Song dynasty. 
In the area, the China Civil Service said the profits were of the main avenues for social mobility in China society, although she and practice due to the time-consuming nature of the study.